Hello, I am Dr. Fernando Rojal Vizcaya. I am the director of the Mediterranean Prostodontic Institute in Castellón, Spain. In this presentation, the most epical vocal bone level protocol, you will see the analysis design and restoration of a very complex case. In this presentation, you will see how we can use several lines that we can see in our patient, how we can transfer to the articulator and how in this articulator, how we can design the new teeth for our patient that stay in harmony between the lips of the patient and in harmony with the face of the patient. We will review the different type of smile and how we can use this information in order to design our case. We will see also the photo smile design, how we can design the new teeth of our patient using the digital clinical photography. So we will see how in a step-by-step -step format we can create the new position of the incisal edge, the new tip of the canine, and we will describe in detail this protocol. What is the most epical vocal bone level protocol? It's a protocol that I designed to use in uh, cases that we can see, very complex cases with terminal dentition. How we can design all the aesthetic area, the pink and the white aesthetic. In this presentation, I want to show you this 3A to B rule that I designed also to use as a diagnostic tool that we can use with our tomogram and uh, from which information I take to design this radiologic rule. Also, we will see how we can make the analysis between the crown that we're planning for our patient and the existing bone. And after we make this analysis, we will know what we need to do with the existing bone of the patient in order to obtain the restoration that we're planning for our patient. Because the bone, most of the time, is not at the same level. So the distance between the margin of the crown that we're planning for our patient could be different for a molar, for a premolar, for canine, for lateral, for central. So this is about my presentation, make this analysis and planning the case. So we can make this uh, design for our patient, how we can present to our patient the uh, potential treatment plan that we are designing for our patient. And I want to present all the protocol in a step-by-step -step format, how we can transfer all the static information from the laboratory to the provisional and from the provisional to the patient how we can uh, relate all this information from the waxing, from the prosthetic template, in the radiologic template, surgical template, and in the provisional restoration. And I want to go deep into the details in the surgical aspect and how we can integrate the surgery with the prosthesis, how we can manipulate the bone in order to obtain the crown that we're planning how we can intrarally make all these analysis and make all these changes in our prosthesis or in the bone of the patient. Until we obtain our provisional restoration and later how we can work with CAT-CAN abatement, how we can deliver our restoration and we will make the follow-up. You can see the final outcome, how the bone is working around all this implant, how we can preserve this bone, and the final outcome after four years. So my intention in this presentation is to show all the protocol, give all the key aspects that we need to take into consideration to be able to obtain cases like the case that I am showing in this slide. Thank you very much.